A good late afternoon and thanks for tuning in. I'm Holly Shields and you're watching Calcane TV live from our Sydney studios. And this is our last show of the day at the last trade. Today, the global economy is continuing to recover from the shackles of the COVID-19 pandemic. However, the war in Ukraine is a big new source of uncertainty. In Australia, most companies have handed in their reports for the earnings season, meanwhile, for the February 2022 period. But the pessimism of the ongoing Ukraine crisis cannot hide the possible dwindling health of Australia's corporate sector. On the economic front, the Reserve Bank Board today decided to maintain the cash rate target at 10 basis points. The interest rate on exchange settlement balances would be at 0%. And inflation has picked up more quickly than the central bank expected, but it's still lower than in many other countries. And coming to the local bosses' performance today, the ASX 200 close up, gaining 47.4 points, or 0.67%. Over, over the last five days, I should say, the index has lost 0.9% and 4.52 over the last 52 weeks. Then on the sectoral front, seven of 11 sectors ended higher, with IT as the best performer, gaining a very impressive 5.41% and 8.36 over the last week. And as for stocks, the best performer was PointsBet, up over 14%. This is followed by Palandin Energy and Immugene. Then the other top performers of the day include Tyro Payments and Polynovo. And in the red zone of the ASX 200, Sandfire Resources was the top laggard. Its stock down over 11%. Also in the red zone was Percy's Mining, Zipco, Romilius Resources and Ingham's Group. And now for a look at the stocks and interested investors today, starting with the fintech company Zip, which raised $148.7 million following a proposed takeover of rival Cezzle, which was announced yesterday. It raises some through an institutional placement, and proceeds are likely to help the company strengthen its balance sheet and positions, positioning it for a sustainable growth by providing more capital runway to execute on the potential synergies from the proposed acquisition. But unfortunately today, Zip shares traded in the red. And meanwhile, Viva Energy has a plan to build a green hydrogen plant and the country's first public hydrogen refueling station at its Geelong refinery site. The $43.3 million project is roughly half funded by the Australian Renewable Energy Agency. And Viva recently launched the formal environmental approval process for the first new project at the energy hub. And today's shares traded up by over 1%. And meanwhile, ANZ Banking Group has made some changes to its leadership. Mark Hand, the group executive for retail and commercial banking, will depart from his position. Maylee Carnegie has been appointed as ANZ's Group Executive of Australian Retail in his place. The bank will also separate its commercial business from its retail bank, creating a new division. This will combine the digital division with ANZ's Australian Retail Business. And also making news after closing strong yesterday, the Asian markets were once again off to a good start. The Japanese decay 225 was up 1.71%. Thanks to index, the Hong Kong exchange was trading marginally higher as well, 0.15%. And then the Chinese Shanghai Composite too sat in the green. And the index was up 0.55%. And then Indian markets remain closed for the day on account of a festivity. But globally, investors seem to be digesting the potential impact of the economic sanctions on Russia. With these escalating sanctions imposed after the invasion of the Ukraine, they're increasing the risk of its stocks and bonds getting kicked out of global benchmarks, effectively cutting them off from a big segment of the investment fund industry. And in the U.S., Wall Street ended mixed in volatile trading overnight, with investors wrestling with uncertainty and bank stocks dropping following the powerful Russian sanctions against the powerful Western sanctions against Russia, I should say, as it continues its invasion of the Ukraine. And as you can imagine, the situation is being monitored closely. But that is a wrap for now on the last trade. Tune in next time only on Calcine TV. This is Holy Shield signing off.